Biku, what is the best Indian restaurant you had recently in the London or UK in general area if you've had none in London? Well, I, so I don't, obviously don't live in London and don't eat curry in London uh, because I don't live in London. Uh, it's got nothing to do with London. I'm sure there's some incredible curry houses. But I'm, I'm glad, again, I'm glad you asked this because let me, so I want to find this. This is, it just had me in stitches. Here it is, right? <laughs> so obviously in Birmingham, we got a ton of fucking wicked curry curry houses. And I'm not going to get into the Balti Triangle because I talked about that a million, million times, right? But here's what I will tell you. So first of all, the one place everyone will tell you to go to over in the Balti Triangle, Ladypool Road, they're all going to tell you to go to Shababs, right? Shababs is like the Birmingham institution. It's like, it's a super touristy destination. It is good curry, I've had it there, but I, I, when I was looking this up, right, like, so I'll get this out the way. Best curry house, hands down, is Lasagne in the Jewelry Quarter. It's fucking wicked, and they do different regional dishes, which you don't get a lot of. You know, you go to Sparkbrook, you're going to get very, like, standard... It's what I call like the British style of of, of curry, and and it's cooked it, it's cooked to perfection. A lot of places, you know, like there's some old school places people don't know about, like Salims and stuff like that. But the one everyone knows is Shababs, and uh, you know you go in there and and in you know everything you get's gonna be spot on and blah blah blah. But Lasan, it's just unreal. It's like I, I went in there and they do like uh, go Goan style food. Like now Goa is obviously lots of seafood. And you can get, like, going style fucking mackerel and shit like this in an Indian restaurant. It's all, like, they, they, they do, like, the, the menu's always changing. It's all, like, local stuff. It's super wicked. Like, I was, like, really, 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 really nice. And so if I was recommending one curry house in Birmingham right now, incredibly, it wouldn't even be in the Balti Triangle. It would be over in the Jewelry Quarter. But, anyway, unrelated right to that let me let me get this for you one of the most ridiculous reviews i've ever seen because i was like looking up to see how shababs was doing because you know it's one of the things everyone criticizes it. it's so popular so touristy that it's like people can't even get served in a good time and stuff so it gets loads of like bad ratings and and whatnot so hang on let me let me show you this right this review is the fakest review i've ever seen never have I ever been served anything so revolting in my life? Ordered from here early hours. What I thought would be a lovely curry turned into a maggot fest. Trying to pass them off as rice. Not one grain of rice. All dead maggots and possibly a worm and a couple of slugs. What the hell? Spent near £40 on fish food. Just to eat have been informed. Environmental health and the papers are next. I'll make sure you never get to do this to someone else again, my friend. No, my friend ate all of his not realising. I'm horrified at the audacity of them. Now, who believes that? Like, we've all seen Lost Boys. Just absolutely mental. But yeah, so that would be... That would be the uh, the curry house. I would recommend Lasan. I think I don't even think it's a secret anymore. I think Gordon Ramsay had it on the F word or something. So it's like it's, it's a well known joint. You'll have to book in advance, but it's worth it for sure.